Number 77. Based on their positions in the periodic table, list the following ions in order of increasing radius. K+, Ca2+, Al3+, and Si4+. All right, so we've done a couple of problems talking about radius, right? If we're talking about atomic radius, that just means how big, so how big or how small an atom really is, right? So the larger the radius, the bigger the atom. The smaller the radius, the smaller the atom. Now, how are we going to know this information? Well, we have to know the trends. There's two trends for atomic radius. One goes by the periods and the other one goes by the groups. So if I'm going across a period from left to right, just know that atomic radius AR will always decrease. So on the left-hand side, you always start with larger elements. And then as you move across the periodic table in a period, they will get smaller and smaller and smaller. As opposed to the groups, as you go down a group on a, the periodic table, your atomic radius AR will increase. So you will start small up top and get bigger and bigger and bigger. This is due to the fact that these atoms are just um, larger because they're, they have larger end shells, right? Their end numbers are much bigger once you go down to the bottom. Hence, it's just a bigger um, atom. All right, so let's see where the ions that they told us were on the periodic table. So we're talking about K+, plus, so potassium's right here. Ca2+, plus, so calcium's right here. Al3+, plus, so right here. And then uh, silicon 4+, plus, which is right here. All right, so it seems like we could kind of group this into one trend, right? I would probably reference the period trend going from left to right, because it looks like they're literally going from left to right. Now there's two different periods, but they're super far apart from each other. So we can basically just use the um, period trend here. Now they want us to go from in order of increasing radius. So that means that you should start out small. So the smallest needs to go on the left-hand side and the largest radius, the biggest atom, or ion in this case, needs to go on the right-hand side. And as you go across a period, what happens to your atomic radius? It decreases. So you start big on the left, you end small on the right. So it seems that technically, potassium should be the biggest. Then you get a little bit smaller, right? Calcium gets a little bit smaller. And then now you're over here. So aluminum would be smaller than silicon. So silicon technically would be the smallest. So the largest would be potassium and they're just talking about ions now. So you just gotta give the ions back. So we have to start with the smallest, right? And the smallest was silicon. And we have to choose the ion. So it would be Si4 plus would be smallest, right? And it would be smaller than aluminum, right? Because silicon is smaller, then aluminum gets a little bigger, and then calcium would be a little bigger, and then potassium would be a little bigger. So silicon Si4 plus is smaller than aluminum 3 plus, because that's the ion that they gave us, which is smaller than calcium 2 plus. And then finally, that is smaller than potassium plus one. And that's your answer. Box this answer off. Easy as that. Now, sometimes you won't be able to use the atomic radius trends for um, charged ions. In this case, you can. Why is that? Because majority of them are not um, isoelectronic. Isoelectronic, we'll probably get into later down the road, but isoelectronic means that you have the same amount of electrons. But only these two had the same amount of electrons and these two had the same amount of electrons. They're, not all of them did. So if that's the case, you chances are you can actually just use your regular atomic radius trend. Probably a couple of questions down the road, we will be dealing with isoelectronic species. So stay tuned for that. All right. So thanks guys for tuning in. Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments what you thought. And if you want to help the channel out, click subscribe. That would help us out a lot. Thank you so much for the support. 
Um, we're almost at 100 subscribers, so that's pretty cool. Anyway, I'll see you guys all in number 78. Happy studying. See you later.